Hello everybody, this is Sonic James one playing Sonic Generations for the 3DS. Today we are going to be doing Boss Gate 2. Our first boss is none other than... Well, should I tell you? Because it's going to pop on the screen, like right there. Right there, yep. Shadow the Hedgehog. Which was me, my first nemesis that I've ever fought when I first played Sonic, being that Sonic Adventure 2 Battle was one of my uh, first... Well, actually, my second game I played, but I can't remember the first one I or first one I played. Oh yeah, ouch! Watch out, he can he can boost like you. I can't actually remember this boss right now. I only remember you want to jump right here. That's really all I can remember. Oh yeah, you want to watch out for his Chaos Spear. And if you boost into him, you will hurt him. But yeah, and watch out, he will Chaos Spear you. If, if you are too close to him. Yeah, I'm going to have to say, Shadow's not the nicest guy in the uh, world. But oh well, he manages. Did he just do Chaos Spear at me? I can't tell. Oh wow, a little shortcut there. That's nice. And to the end, and I ran out of boost power for the last time. And there we go, we beat Shadow the Hedgehog. Thank God, nay. I think, like, to get Nestor, you gotta get a minute and something. Alrighty, so now time for boss number two. Which is not a race, it is. Yeah. Which, this boss is. Um, the original version of this boss is my number one favorite boss, the ever, the Bio Lizard. Roar! Yes, I love this guy. This version I'm not much, I don't like as much, but oh well. It it, it it has its own moves, which is really nice. Like uh, it some of its moves differ from the original version. Oh, too close. Don't eat me, I'm not fast food. And besides, fast food is bad for you. Very bad for you. So pretty much what you want to do, you want to boost into his mouth. It took me a while to figure that out because I was so used to the original. But, and then it, right, right as you get up to the top of the uh, um, grinding rail, you want to um, home attack his, uh, his life supporting thing, I believe it's called. Yes, and if you get too close to his tail, he'll try to hit you with his tail. Yep, and then... So, you're thinking so far, oh man, this is crazy easy. I don't I don't see what's so hard about this boss. Well, after the second hit, it gets harder. Wall running? No, I believe, if I'm thinking correctly. Should go too soon. Yep, you want to watch out now. Getting ready to jump and duck. And then he'll start spitting out purple, or these purple things, which is from the original boss. The thing he was doing with his tail when you were running, he, that's not an original, but things that he was spitting out of his mouth were an original. You pretty much just want to duck and, duck and uh, jump, pretty much. Oh yeah, this is where he goes and tries to smash you with, your, with his big ugly tail. Pretty tail. Yeah, and if you notice, he doesn't have another leg. That's kind of weird. He's just a stub of a leg. His other leg's on the other side of him. Yep, so here comes the purple stuff again. Oop, dunk. Jump. Jump. And this, after this hit, it's where you stop. You don't, like... Ah, how do I explain it? Okay. You don't, uh... Oh, yeah, here we go. Originally, you would just run, keep running after a little bit, but in this one, you have to, uh, you get to home attack on these little bubble things. I've heard them called eggs, but it doesn't make any sense, so I'm just gonna call them little purple bubbly things. <laughs> it's a long name, but it works for me, I guess. Yep, and now he's gonna start chasing you again. Oh no, it's a big ugly dragon. He's gonna smush me, or lizard, or whatever he is. Oh. Hello, big ugly tail. Don't hurt me. I'm innocent. I'm just trying to whoop your butt. Oh, that kind of that kind of hurt.
Oh yeah, little trivia for you. This is actually a prototype of Shadow the Hedgehog. Yes, it's kind of strange, but yes, this is a this is Shadow's prototype. Yeah, kind of big for Shadow, I'm gonna have to say, but oh well. Probably the one thing I don't like about this boss is the fact that it has the song has lyrics to it. That's the one thing I didn't like about Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. But the rest of it was awesome, like you could raise your own shot and stuff like that. So now this is kind of like his final hit hit thing, which is similar to the original, but not quite. What you're pretty much trying to do is don't touch the purple things. The purple ball bubble things. You want to try to get to the end without getting hurt twice, because you obviously should have rings. Home attack, and he goes raw, and he's done for. We did that in 3 minutes, 42 seconds. And 0.5 milliseconds, everybody gets. So we got an S rank! Which I wasn't, I wasn't thinking I wasn't, wasn't gonna, was, ah, my ton's getting rolled up today. I wasn't expecting to get anything worse, so, yeah. So see you guys next time when we do, oh wait, never mind, there's a cutscene, whoops. I think there's a cutscene. Yeah, there's a cutscene. I can't do my exiting thing with without the cutscene. Wait a minute, no cutscene? Alrighty, so now in the next levels that we are going to do, you can use Stomp. Which, uh, okay. Really, there was no cutscene? Actually, there's supposed to be a cutscene, so. Here. Since it failed to show us the cutscene, I'll just do something here. Wait, that's not it. One second, I forgot some that. But yes, there is a, supposed to be a cutscene. I have no idea why it skipped it. That's kind of a weird glitch. I believe it's this one. Nope, nope, wrong one. <laughs> Sorry, it's gonna take me some time to figure out which one it is. I think it's eight. Right. Oh, yep, here it is. Okay. I never expected to see the bio lizard again. Hey, that was easy. I fought him before, after all. That is not exactly true. Shadow fought this version of the boss. He just fought him when he was Super Sonic, but I don't know if that exactly counts. You brought back quite a bit of this world. You're doing great, Sonic. You mean you're doing great, Sonic. Wow. <laughs> right, I don't think I'm ever going to get used to that. Uh-oh, big shaky. Whoa. What? Watch out. Whoa, light. Oh, look, there's the red chaos emerald we just recovered, strangely enough. That's a Chaos Emerald. That monster, sh monster sure didn't like that emerald. The Chaos Emeralds are more powerful when they're together, so we need to collect all seven of them. They finally tell you tell you to collect the Chaos Emeralds now. Once we collect the Chaos Emeralds, we'll use them to defeat that monster. And then we can restore the world to the way it was before. You guys have your work cut out for you. An adventure's just no fun if it's too easy. That's just too true. Don't you think? You did it, Sonic? That's Sonic for you. <laughs> I figured you'd say that, so I have a little present for you. Huh? Uh-huh. Okay. Well, that's a great idea. Sounds awesome, Tails. Then here you go. Thanks, Tails. Let's give him a try, then. What were you doing? I made Sonic Shoots lighter by approximately 30%. Wow, talk about being approximate. <laughs> My design works a lot, move more freely even in midair. Well, that's nice to have. Interesting, maybe I can do that for my Sonic too. Sure, I'll show you how to do it later. Yeah, so you don't actually get this, these shoes for classic Sonic though. So. Thanks, this is kind of weird though, isn't it? Hmm, what's weird? I'm getting tips for myself. <laughs> yeah, wow. Ha the ha, that's right. Ha. Whoa, what was that? That move's called Stomp. Oh, yeah. yes. These are great, Tails. No problem. Alright, so pretty much now we get the uh, 
move stomp, which pretty much you can do. You hold the down button, press the B button, and you will stomp on the ground, which is pretty helpful in certain levels. So that is the end of this walkthrough. See you guys next time when we do um, Water Palace, the Water Palace zone. See you guys next time.